Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center. I want to teach you guys how to do the Patience First Trials trick that Dodo did. And uh, all you need to do this is a good piece of rope and a pair of scissors, nothing more. Now this, this is really just the standard uh, cut and restored rope. It's just done three times. Okay. The basic moves for cut and restored rope I may have done in another video, but I'm just going to go ahead and go over them again because it doesn't hurt. All you need to do, you're going to, you, the reason I, that Dodo usually talks about the two ends, it's to kind of explain putting the, the rope in his hand like this so that he can get this kind of, you know, it has two ends. Well, really, he's wanting these two ends here, so that, and then he talks about the middle because he wants to bring the middle up here to look as if he's going to cut the middle. Now, you're not cutting the middle of the rope. What you're doing, I want to make sure you can see this well, what you're doing is you lay the rope, or the middle of the rope, on or over one of the other pieces of rope. It doesn't matter which one. And you reach through that loop and pull that one up. So you get kind of an even set here. So let me show it to you. Here, we've got the loop. This is the actual middle. And then I've just kind of pulled the other rope up. So now... What it looks like is I've pulled the middle up to the top so it can be cut. So then you cut this part. You're going to have somebody else cut it. It doesn't matter. So then you, what you want to do is be able to drop this with it still looking like two pieces of rope in your hand. And so if you, if you look, what, what, what that's done is it's created two loops through one another. So you can just pinch this, drop the rest, and you've got what seems to be, if you cover your thumb over this, it's what seems to be two pieces of rope. But really, it's two pieces of rope, one small one and one long one, looped through one another. And then to tie the knot, you just literally just tie a knot around the rope. So this is an exposed view of what's happening. Now when you do this, you want to cover it with your fingers like you don't want it to fall or fall apart. But this is what it really looks like. It's just a piece of rope, and you tie that into a knot on the other piece of rope. Then you've got that. So, to do it again, there's a little bit of a kind of a hint or a, or a helpful uh, reminder. When you come up this time, you don't, when you come up with a loop, you do not want to grab this piece of the rope because then you'll actually be cutting. Your long length of rope. Now, I don't know if you could have seen that. Let me get a. You got a good view? Okay. When you bring this up, you do not want the loop to come from this piece of rope here. You do not want to do this because then you're actually going to be cutting the rope you don't want to cut. You want to get the one that has an end. So you come up, pull that through and you've got a loop to cut here. Now my, my rope is getting my rope is getting a little too short to do this particular trick three times on this piece so you want to make sure that your rope is a fairly good length before you start the trick for two reasons. One, so you have plenty of rope to uh, be able to tie the knots on because like right now I've got almost almost not enough rope there to tie that on so you want to have enough that you can tie the pieces on and it, when you're done you don't want it to look too short where you go. That is a lot shorter than when they started. So then the last one is the same as the one I just did before. You come up, you pull the one that has the end through. And you kind of just do this as you talk so nobody's really looking at your hands or trying to see what you're doing with the rope. And you can drop this, of course, same way. As before, you can even show it this way, but of course, it's a loop. Two pieces of rope looped together. Tie this on. And from this moment on, you're all set. There's no more real moves that you have to do. So all you have to do is you continue to talk about how you're going to get through the trials. And you can take the, the rope. And you can even come up and you can have somebody come up and hold this. And then pull that through. And you see how it just pulls and pulls. 
lot of people take their hand and they run the rope through their hand like this and they act like the, the knots have disappeared. But even when I do this uh, without the object lesson, I feel like there's a much stronger looking magic trick seeing the knot move along the rope like that. People don't know what you're doing, so they immediately think, whoa, what did you just do? They don't think that's another piece of rope tied onto another piece of rope. Most people do not think that. They're just like, how did you pull that off? That's crazy. Anyway, so it looks it looks nice. You get the three to pop off, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. And now, just so you know, this is about, I don't know, Right now it's probably about three feet long. So you're probably about four, four and a half feet long. It's probably a good uh, length because this is way too short now. So you want another foot or, or so on there to start with. But uh, enjoy it guys. See you next time.